Hello, it's Nick. Today I will show you how to use drop shadows in Figma. I will create three variants of drop shadow for a button. Subtle, standard and deep shadows. The first thing I typically do when working with shadows is changing the color of the background to the one that I have in my product. This will help me understand if the shadow I design looks clean. For this example I will go with pure white background. Next I will start creating a button. I will choose text and type submit. Change font weight to medium. Right click the text label and add auto layout. This will allow me to change the width of the button without worrying about spacing. Let's add a fill color. In my case I will choose blue. I will be even more specific and choose a particular hex code that looks good from a visual point of view. Next let's resize the button to make it wider. And as a final touch, let's add a corner radius of 8 pixels. By the way, if you're wondering how to make a perfect corner radius for your eye elements, you can check the video about it. I will leave a link to the video in the description. Lastly, I will change the color of the text label to pure white. I'm doing it on purpose, and you will know the reason later in this video. And one final thing. In the auto layout section, Change the setting from Show Content to Clip Content. This will allow us to play with the shadow spread. Now we are ready to explore shadows. Scroll down to the Effects section and click Plus. Drop Shadow will be added automatically. Click this icon to change the shadow settings. You will see a section with variables X, Y, Blur, Spread, Color and Opacity. Let's talk about each one of them. X. This value controls the horizontal offset of the shadow. Negative values move the shadows to the left while positive values move it to the right. And Figma allows us to change these values gradually. You can hover over the input field label, click it and drag it to the left or right to find a precise value. Y. This value controls the vertical offset of the shadow. Negative values move the shadow upward, while positive values move it downward. Blur. This value determines how blurry or sharp the shadow appears. Lower values create a sharper, more defined shadow, while higher values create a more diffuse shadow with softer edges. Spread. This value controls the expansion or contraction of the shadow. Negative values make the shadow smaller, contracting it, while positive values make the shadow larger, spreading it out. Color. This is the color of the shadow. By default, Figma uses pure black color for the shadows, which doesn't look very nice most of the time, so it's recommended to change it. Opacity. This controls the transparency level of the shadow. Value ranges from 0, complete transparent, to 100%, completely opaque. Now let's recreate the three variants of the shadows that I shared at the beginning of the session. The first one will be a subtle shadow. This shadow is barely noticeable and it can be good for minimalistic UI, where we use shadows to avoid making the UI look too flat. Apart from playing with Y and Blur values, I will also change the color of the shadow. From visual point of view, it's recommended to reuse the color of the parent element that casts the shadow. Just don't forget to change the opacity when you set the new color. Let's rename our button. And create a copy of it. The next shadow will be a standard one. This shadow is pretty much universal, so it works well in different contexts. Standard shadows create a clear distinction between elements and their background, making interactive elements more noticeable. Lastly, let's create a deep shadow. This one can be good when you want to communicate elements like floating action button. Deep shadows give elements a strong sense of elevation and prominence, making them located closer to the user in the z-depth. As you can see, we played with Y, Blur and Opacity when creating these shadows. Now I want to show another example of how we can use shadows in our design. I told you that I intentionally used a white color for the button label, but the combination of this blue background and the white label has a poor contrast ratio. It's not accessible, but we can fix the contrast ratio with the shadows. Click on the text element and add a new effect. Change the color of the newly created shadow. I suggest using a more saturated blue color. Set X and Y to 0 and play with blur and opacity. You can visually compare the two variants of the same button, one without a shadow for the text label and another with it. The second version has a better contrast for the text. Hope it was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions about shadows in Figma in the comments. Thank you.